Yo, I made it. Stupid fool, me too. Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face. I ain't what it's going to be. I ain't what it's going to be. Who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face. I ain't what it's going to be. Who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Actually, I'm the same person that you go to see. Uh -huh. Every time in the streets, I go like this since I was three. Holy motherfucking hell like a freezer in the oven. And what the fuck that mean? Who knows what? I'm still stuck in that oven. I just want to keep spitting up. Look at my extra horn in this bitch. Bang, I apologize. Hold on, let me get my bald head together. ATM the professional worldwide wildin.com I am Kamani Kim.com because I am. And this is all on Mr. Idea. And you're watching Kim Chi TV. Bang! Nigga! I do the damn thing. This is after black, bro. This is after black, bro. So uh I'ma need you to just step back, bro. This is after black, bro. <sighs> We're gonna do a few check-ins. We got Empress. In the building, about to call up something serious right now. Who the who the who the fuck got a hotter show than me? No one, nigga. Just say no one. No one gets the blame. And if you don't give them the blame, they ain't got nothing to worry about. Who the who the who the fuck sing more old school songs than me? My baby says she loving it. It's on Kimchi TV. Bang, nigga. That's my wife. Till death do us part, motherfucker. Word to that. That's my baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. She already know. Oh, Mr. Idea want to act funny style on me. That means I got to switch everything to... Shout out to Quiz. You just like some shit. I don't know. I got 300 messages to go through. I apologize. Oh, your beat video. Yo, shout out to Poke, Bang, Angelica... They like the post that I share with one song this man. So to Rebecca, uh, bang, bo. She said, not only does the opinions of sheep not matter, but most aren't worth us even eating either. Ew. And that's for the lion talk. If you ain't a lion, tell your bitch ass to walk. My cousin Brando said extension cord. Yeah. Yeah. Just ask I'm gonna tag my dad in that yeah just ask bitten cook the third talking about name something your mom would hit you with you in little yeah just ask bitten cook the third he wasn't my mom that nigga whooped me with extension cord so he's gonna know his son is blowing up and you have nothing to do with it how about that my nigga <sighs> You may gave me some gene pool, and I would love you for life for that, but god damn it, man. My mama was fucking hurting, man. Where the fuck were you at? Only thing to say to that is fuck your couch, son. And your man cave. While you sitting here worrying about... I have fucking... I'm sitting here on food stamps, and my dad's trying to talk to me about a man cave. I should have kicked him in the throat. Over the phone, nigga. For your own style, be original. Every superstar differentiated themselves from the herd and marched in their own drum beat. Bang, nigga. He just said Prince is a thief and motherfucker. Willis Day. Bang. Really? You're going to have to explain, man. Because I knew nothing about that. I'm a Prince fan, but if that's what you say it is, then it is, my nigga. I don't, no, not just what it is. You just like, let me go ahead and investigate and report, says Jizzle would say. Shouts out to Lek for liking the post, man. Super Hype was bumping your shit. I dropped the... Steven Andrade, yeah, my wife loves that movie too, sir. The Goonies. I couldn't remember no slick-ass lines from it, so I just liked your shit. Just know we communicate. Allison, 
What the fuck? What the who the who the who the fuck got a ticket for me? We. Who the fuck got a ticket for we? That's what your fucking call in is right now, Allison. I'm trying to travel. Shit, man. I got business to attend to, kind of sound. Again, recap. Shout out to Wax Delgado, Felipe Wax Delgado, man. This man's an OG in the game. Been holding it down for a good minute, man. He even told y'all, 87. He was producing when niggas had the emu. Can you pronounce or spell emu, motherfucker? Shout out to DJ Too Fine, Banksy, Jazz Mavon, Bang Bang, Day One in this bitch. Me Madre, all day, every day. For show in the building, man. Yo, I'm telling these people it's a news page, it's a new page coming soon. All oh, y'all better. All oh, y'all better like to. Said all oh, y'all better like this motherfucking shit, man. Cause if you don't, you asked out, kind of, sir. Our madam. Our Bamski motherfucking wham. And like I said, I put a foot in that uh, complex's apartment and a uh, complex's thing, and they know. And they'll know. I mean business in this motherfucker. We got Empress in the motherfucking building. She's about to get on the phone calls, man. I'm going to bump this mid new Marauders intro that I produced for her. Bang. Shout out to DJ DN3. Meemail. We got... Danielle, Mimi, DJ, DN3 representing Men New Marauders, so we in attendance. Fuck that. That shit's hard. I produce. I'm gonna play some more shit. She's going in five minutes. I'm gonna take a solo and call out my baby. Cause she's gonna wanna come in too. So fuck you. Counting up my days, you know my stream coming still live in the fourth Saturday. Men New Marauders represent the summer's press to play. From tour the school set to the mountain standards. They're uplifting our people. You can call them the answer on the three. Dub Radio Super.com Ring the alarm, baby, it's vessels, not bombs If you can count on them to play the tracks Some other shows won't If that's believe, discussing topics And unconscious mind won't Local activists and community leaders of life With common cause to keep the light And hip-hop culture upright You got Danielle, Mimi, DJ, DN Three representing men, new marauders So be in attendance Like folks, spread and share the site Come on, he flipped the beat And if we just translated the site So put your mind in the cockpit And take flight with me We'll find another show Reflecting our elements properly it was go, huh? Can you rap better? No, nigga. Can you make beats better? No. Hold on now. Side chicken. Hey, baby. Come on, baby. And hey, that's my baby. <laughs> And she, you don't guys don't need to see my baby. And she don't want y'all to see her because she's my baby. That's it. She dolled up at fucking 930 at night, man, for nothing. She's just like, I just want to make sure I look good for you. I love you. I'm like, baby, you look beautiful. Be you. Bang, baby. A bang. I say it softer. I go, bang, baby. <laughs> I love you. Bang. So anyway, that was me and Emperor snapping on that. We're going to play the second verse of this Blaine Coffee shit. You know what I'm saying? The cypher. Empress is rapping in Spanish in this bitch. How about that? They want to tell me what I can be, or what they fancy, or what their plans be, so they can brand me. Well, picture this. Shadow something that you can't see. Smash out posse with the tell them of the antique. Break your chains, I'm losing weight Take a game, I'm losing a break And it ain't hallucinations And you know, crown, I stake my claim Working out like two days I put it down and throw my A's up Collected soul, we let our light shine Face in the dark Industry selling trends, we raising the bar Huh, no need for angles when it's straight from your heart We in the streets, and this is the state of the arts Let's see, no es por una cosa Pues es para la otra, hasta que te sufoca Porque esta vida siempre provoca Si no te mueves para la causa No te muevas para nada Palabras muy para no sirven para nada Sin alas, dale pa'lante Mi propósito por delante Camino fijo, a mí me han dado libre albedrío Es that free will we're given I'm moving on my business steady Skipping on the distance so I can speak on what I'm living Got that wrong with a mouth and now your question Well, put your seat up, ask them questions I'm an open book session lesson Here I'm a lesson See I'm a lesson, no less than I just sweep 
right? I choke you out with your shower curtain. Show up late for work, wearing the same bloody clothes that I hurt you in. A hurricane's my perfect win. I'm perfect win. Ever I exhale, swing a dragon by its tail and crumble your weak infrastructure. I've never felt still. You're good for nothing, and I welcome my laboratory. I'm a former Norman, Norman DB Storming, one man for Stormy. Never seen a face as ugly with a voice so calming and a body this scrawny. And I skateboard with bosses that don't know the difference between trap houses and apartments. Still these similar things for it's sharpening. So I roll with an ironclad staff and fuck with these state of the art kids. Whole, whole, whole squad of soldiers that's ready to ride out. z up on the front line, fuck it. I'm about to wild out. That Mississippi lyricist been delivering the hottest shit. I got the game on the table, eight ball straight pocketed. Better than any commercial competitor. Call me your leader and call me your general agent. Flow just like a centennial aim directly at you and then heads blow off. Hope these Catholics is holding on to their cause because the aftermath of war with me equals many lives lost. See, I'm the wrong path to cross, but it's too late to turn back now with Armageddon on the rise as soon as I lay these raps down. Feel the winds getting cold, the white clouds is turning black now with salvation for the true art. Death to all the wax sounds while they begin to give up thrones to me. Those self-proclaimed kings, I just give any opposed to stony. Anyone feeling the need to go against Z, just take your last breath with 300 motherfuckers that don't give a shit. We make sure you have no life left. Been in the universe since the mission. Infinite bars coming at your ass like wet gremlins. But don't hey, smother that bullshit they attempted. Like I'm watching sea monkeys in a snow globe blizzard. They want to know who is it. Tell them it's Lord Cash. What it came. Fuck the death and the king. I bring a brighter day right away to help you find your way out of the dark. I ain't throwing darts. This is archery. State of the arts. Mixed martial. I parkour over beats. Why you marvel? I'm next to dissect and rap because they awful. Repetitions until I reach perfection. Natural rejection. My only rival is my reflection. He just keep getting better. Every day I wake up. Why them niggas afraid to go on stage without they makeup? <laughs> ain't nobody got time for wishing. This ain't Aladdin. I think it then it happens. Black Dr. Manhattan. I may be small in size, but I spar like I was signed for a sponsor site. Got the game locked, you need more than crowbars to fry. You need some sort of large device like the jaws of light. Next nigga to break through, other folk late news. I'm great, they cool. I'm a late, they cool. If you want to help me get cake, make moves. If you a lame, stay the fuck out my face, you fake dudes. Ooh, I had to face it, I'm fly. So a uh, lot of hate and I've been taking a stride. Cause my old homie's lying, looking straight in my eyes. So fuck the world if it ain't on my side. Stand up, nigga, I ain't taking a seat. And if you don't like them apples, quit shaking my tree. Stand up, nigga, I ain't taking a seat. And if you don't like them apples, quit shaking my tree. I don't want all the above, like Dodge Buick. I'll park your car, stop you like a boss. Moving cross to the jaw, stupid. I don't know what you thought, but this is raw, fast, fall back, call Cupid. I'm not human. I flew in, I saw shooting and caught. Stupid motherfuckers sleeping in all ruin. Against all odds, about to have the charge booming. All I gotta do is put my mind and my heart. Hold up! Hold up! Oh, I hit them high. I tackle next. Bang. I train my soul, I train my mind. I manifest. Bang! Bang. Let them know who's in the building. Who we got on the phone? And Peasy, what's up? Empress in the building, AZ's finest. Woo! Let them know, man. We just got done bumping that fucking, holy shit, that cypher featuring everyone. Wow. I didn't know you were spitting in Spanish like that, but you did that. I did, I did. Yes, you did, you did. And even before that, I bumped the mid new marauders that we get down on, so... Let these people know who you are. Shout yourself out, goddammit. Who are we talking to? We're talking to JL, known as Empress. M P R E S S. Good shit. Now, are you a native of Arizona? Where are you from? What you been doing? How long you been in the game? Let me know a little something. I'm a native of Chicago. Mmm. Represent. Uh, yeah, I'm always going to rep my city, but. My influential years, as far as music is concerned, was spent in Connecticut. So, you know, I was out there when Hot 97 was bumping all the underground joints and stuff, so. Oh, okay. Well, good shit. You grew up in a good era, just like me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's it. What's up, man? Empress shit. You know, you know, I'll go ahead and inform them, but we've been making a few hot fire, fire bean tracks, you know what I'm saying? But... What else you been doing? Didn't you just have a show maybe about two, three months ago or so at uh, Club Red before they decided to fuck shit up? You went ahead and shut that shit down, I heard, man. Wasn't that the uh, State of the Art show? Yeah. Nice, nice. Show. What was your input on that? How do you feel about shows and what do you think about pre-sale tickets and all that good shit? 
<laughs> you put people on the spot now, huh? Hey, hey, it is what it is, man. <laughs> Welcome to the world. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, as far as the state of the art show, I'll do it anytime they ask me. I mean, they, they put it together nicely. It was a good vibe, a great turnout. Shout out to Blaine Coffee. Professional. Shout out to Blaine, definitely. And Nuevo Tiempos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that whole team. Definitely dope. Um, pre-sale tickets. I guess everyone has their own lane, so I'm not going to judge, but it's not my thing in particular. Right. And do you think that that's... Honestly, you know, like I said, I've asked this to everybody, so it's nothing specific, but, like, what do you think, in your opinion, is holding the state back from cracking that national level? Now, mind you, we're the sixth largest state in the country, and we're a rural city. We're a huge rural city. We're not a, a metropolitan city, so what is holding us back from having that one artist blow? Is it unity? What do you think? I don't know if it's unity so much I have more of a different world view on it mm -hmm. you know I think not only in music but in other things when it comes to Arizona I think that Arizona is or was designated for a certain type of activity to be done here right right for people to come here for certain refuge purposes so I think too much coming from here would mean too much attention and drive more than is already coming this way. And everybody here is not from here. Me and you right. included, you know what I'm saying? We're like, yo, you meet three other people with us. One of them is born in Arizona. Like, yo, we're we're almost like the Snowbirds babies in this bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, so <laughs> it, it just depends on like if people talking about you can't just, in my opinion, you can't just rep AZ and Southwest and all that good shit because even Yogue Westwood had a great point. He was like, what is a Southwest sound? I don't know that either. I don't know what an Atlanta sound is. I know what they've came out with. But, you know, Outkast didn't sound nothing like D4L. So all I think it is is you got to have some exceptional music wherever you are. And then uh -huh. the shine bright like a diamond or a medallion. Right. <laughs> you know? That's true. That's true. So what do you think is... I mean, you know, like... So you've been at a few events and a few shows and whatnot. And... I'm not going to say and sit here and assume you've done all female shows, you've done female MC shows, and then you've done male MC shows combination. What is it and why do females get such a bad rap? Because you are one of the sickest MCs I've met, male or female, like gender can go out the window. Me and Too Fine was not playing that other day on the I'm Too Fine for my show. When we were saying you was the dopest female MC we ever met, and that was a female MC included in, I didn't ever even put one in my top 10. You know, and I don't know if that's wrong of me, but I just, I'm rambling because I'm excited to talk to you, but I just want to say, what is your, your opinions on female MCs in Arizona? Sorry. I think people are too hyped up about wanting to have a female on their crew, on their clique, just to say that they have one. Word. Just like there are too many females that care too much to be a part of a clique or a crew instead of honing on their craft and standing alone. So a lot of people get brought into a camp that a lot of times, unfortunately, you know, this to anyone in particular, but the men ain't that hot either. you exactly right. So, you know, I know that I'm, I'm all about support. I give props to anyone who's trying to hone their craft. But as far as shows is concerned, I think that we need to understand there's a difference between having an open mic where you're giving people an opportunity to expose themselves, to be heard for the first time, to get practice in. Exactly. And they just started recording versus a show of some seasoned MCs. And that's exactly what V the Ruler said, man. Is yo, we just we just jumping off a of meek, man. There's levels to this shit. We understand that people got to get their due diligence and pay their dues, but look it, you are, you are seasoned, like you mentioned, you are talented, let alone, so why not get what you deserve? Promoters need to start paying artists what they want and stop trying to pre-sell tickets because they have no promotion team. That's my opinion. Yeah. You know, so... Or just, I mean, you know, if that's going to be your lane, just know who you're, you're reaching out to. Like, you know, you're not going to hit up... Met the man and asked him for his catalog. 
you're not just going to shoot him and tell him that you want him on the show, but you're not taking the time out to listen to his music. Get the fuck out of here. You're so right. No. You're so right. You know, if you're just fishing for people to fill your lineup up and that's why you want them to sell tickets, that's fine. But before you approach someone else, know what they bring to the table before you're asking someone to sell tickets. Exactly. And you know what? I agree. Everybody got to pay dues and stuff, but there comes a point, man, where... Somebody has to be accountable for their actions. You cannot just keep throwing it on the back of the artist, man. Like, yo, we're if we're a network, we're a network. Every play, everybody plays their roles. So it may not be this show that I don't get paid for and I don't go to, but the next one I may. And I won't sell no tickets. You know, I'd rather not do a show than sell tickets. Unless it's like some industry act, quote-unquote industry act performing that'll guarantee exposure of fans that I'm not used to. But if I'm performing in front of rappers that I've already known and friends with on Facebook and all have 235 mutual friends and we're all sharing the same flyer, we're not gaining fans. And as dope as it is to go to these events and venues where you see the same faces and it's a community, like, we're all starving artists, man. What do you think we need to do to branch out and get new fans? Right, that's true. What do we need to do? I was asking. What do we need to do? I was just kidding. <laughs> I mean, not just branch outside of the local scene. I mean, because you got to think about it. Even when you put a show together, even if you have local artists, when you bring an out-of-town artist or someone that's more established, along the same lines, you're exposing them to people here who haven't heard them, and you're exposing the artists here to them as well. Exactly. 50-50. That's, that's just one avenue of it. Right. And there's so many so many different ways to look at it. And my take when it comes down to shows like that, it's like, at the end of the day, again, we all have different content. Now, I, I understand and I recognize that maybe what I talk about Right, might not fit someone else's lineup, and they might not want to bring people to come to hear that me. real. <laughs> I understand. It doesn't matter whether I beast them on lyrics or not. No pun intended. <laughs> Bang! But, take um, that. Go ahead. Same thing goes. I'm not. I don't care whether I have to sell the ticket or not. If it's free, I'm not going to want to tell my my girl to bring her teenage boys or or to bring her man to this show where I don't like the person or I don't think that that person really has the skills to be on a lineup. Like, I'm not going to tell you to spend or invest 20, 30 minutes or three hours of your day on something that I wouldn't do. And it's not just you. Yeah, you're looking out for them. So... And I totally agree. You know what, fucking Empress? Nobody made that point yet, man. It's not just about how the artists feel about the show. We each have our own followings, and of course, unity together would make a better following, of course, but you, you're looking out for the people who care about you, and you don't want them to be disappointed, so if you know you're getting on the bill that's not what it's supposed to be, why do it? You know, I mean, it's not like nobody's putting their nose in the air or nothing, but you know your worth, and once you know your worth, it's hard to go back. So You know, so that's just how I feel, like, you know, everybody needs exposure, but the stuff we've been working on, like, it's just out of this world. And I can't wait for the rest of the people to hear it because, you know, a few reptables that have heard it was like, yo, this is you, son? And I'm like, uh, yeah, well, not me rapping, but fuck yeah. What do you mean? And you know who I'm talking about, so we didn't even let them know. But yeah, I, I, I you know, they've heard. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't want to even say I'm late, but I'm just saying I'm glad I'm working with you now how about that but you've been doing your thing for a while how did you feel about the scene compared to when you first started to how you are now what do you think the difference is in arizona yeah exactly my fault yeah in arizona when you first started getting your buzz popping in arizona to where it is now what's changed what do you miss what do you like don't like i miss uh some more of the people that, you know, they moved on to, to other things, and I respect that, but there were some heads out here, and there's some new ones kind of taking the lead on that, but that really understood the value of a good show uh, as far as, again, lining people up appropriately, you know, because there's no knocking, again, the different uh, 
lanes that we have as far as music, taste, sounds, everything, but just making a successful show where everyone enjoys themselves. Exactly. Like, Cohesive. There's like three million shows all the time now. There's just so much because it's like everybody is rapping. So... It saturates the actual talent and the actual talent gets lost, but you know what? The actual talent gotta use that backstroke that they got in the back of their pocket, man. You know you got a secret weapon, fucking use that shit, man. Survive the flood, man, cause this flood of whack shit ain't gonna last that long, man. The real recognize real. And you know what? And I'ma speak for me talking about you. You are the real. And they'll they'll know that. And it's not even just on no, oh, I happen to know you Arizona level. Like, I appreciate you so much for what you bring to the game, your lyrical ability. Only person I can uh, uh, compare you to is Bahamadia, and that's just the vocal tone. I don't know if you've gotten that a lot, but your lyrical content, you may go a little harder, but like, damn. Like, you know, when did you start rapping? <laughs> I'm not telling my age on radio. No, well, okay, well, okay. What was the song that, what song made you want to start rapping? Daddy Kane set it off. It, oh, you know, it nice. Wasn't even a song. Nice. It wasn't even a song. That's that's what made me like really want to take it serious because you know my brother's older than me. Right. Like I said we were on the East Coast, so he was the one always beatboxing and say, "Yo, just kick a freestyle." So he had me doing that when I was eleven. So that's when all that started. But I started really getting into it when I was fifteen. Okay. In my verses and stuff. Been a minute. Yeah, well, you know, it happens, man. You you find that creative pocket and you run with it. I always tell everybody it's that energy. Once you capture it, that chi, you got to run with it. And you never know when it's going to hit. I, I put everybody in a post that I know, and I, don't, I believe I tagged you too. Like, yo, I'm at a creative slump right now. I have no more raps in my body at this moment. Either I'm going to just start going in the booth and recording from there, jaking my life away, or I'm going to stop writing. Like, there's too much shit going on. And I love rap, but, like, holy fuck, man. I, I, you know, nobody comes through no more. I have plates of all this gourmet food and shit. Fucking AKA rappers come through. Hello. It's not just an open invite to Classic and JL. God damn it. Come on. You know, so I just try to say, like, yo, I just, I, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling fucking rapperish, man. So, I get insp inspiration from anywhere, and I just appreciate you so much for providing another aspect. And this is a side chicken for everybody, because I ain't said that in a long time. Fucking, uh, side note, you were the first female MC slash vocalist or vocalist I ever recorded. Did you know that? You know what? You shed some light on that the last time I was there. Yeah, and I mean, that was the truth, man, and I, I'm glad that that was an honor. I don't know why it should make a difference, but just in case it does, fucking why not be Empress? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Just in case, I'll take Empress. And to, to, you got to watch I'm Too Fine for my show, man. Too Fine was like, if you're picking a starting five, Empress is not riding the bench. Like, yo, she's either your number two, three, one pick. Like, if it's anything lower, somebody got to holler at you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's on some rap shit like you go so what do you what, what's inspiring you lately where do you get your inspiration from life how how elaborate please um I mean every experience the fact that there is a lack of people speaking the truth mm -hmm. like, whether someone's feeling it or not like yeah I know about the block I could speak about that we'll do a track about that no problem right when it comes to if I release this track, is it going to make people uncomfortable because they're not willing to face their own truth? Oh. Is that something that I really have to stress about? Like, I have to be true to myself. So it's at that point. You know, I've been, it's been a minute. You know, I started doing one thing, battle rapping, and it's turned into something else. So. Oh, so you started that's off as a battle MC? That's, that's what I started off doing, yeah. Really? Have you ever have you ever considered Queen of the Ring or do you watch Queen of the Ring? Yeah, I've seen that. What do you think about that? What are your thoughts? Because to be honest, I'm not too into female battle MC rapping. I'll listen to females rapping, making songs, but the battling, I don't know. Just 
Maybe I'm being a sexist and I apologize, but I just don't know. But what do you think about female battle rappers? I think that limelight is for someone else. Right. It's not it's not for me. Right. Like, could it be done? Would I be able to do it? Yes. Of course! <laughs> but, yeah. Um, that's just not, that doesn't appeal to me, you know? Just yeah, well, you... A, it, it's, it's a lot more than you, you know, getting your verses ready for the battle. It comes with a lot more in that territory, and that's territory that I'm straight on. Exactly. And you know what? I just want to know your take on, you know, I know you're a proud mother right now, and I just want to know your take on how it affects being a mother and being an MC, because that's different than just being a female MC, because there's a lot of females who rap who may not be mothers. What is the difference to you, and how does it affect your craft, and how do you fight through it? It's basically about balance, and at the end of the day, me being able to to say to them and anybody else, don't just do as I say and not as I do. Right. That's hypocrisy at the end of the day. But if I'm teaching them something and how to live, what not to do, then I have to do it by example. Whether it's whether I'm by by them next to them talking to them or I'm on the booth by myself. You're away exactly from them. right. All in all, it's going to come back. You're exactly right. But somebody got to plant those seeds and. You're a great mom, man, so you planting those seeds will last a long while, and your voice will live on, so, you know, that will always carry, so that's great. You got the best of both worlds right now. Appreciate it. To be honest, you know, that's good. So, you know what? I just want to go ahead and say I appreciate you for stopping through. I got about 10 minutes left, so maybe we can get about a minute or so or two minutes of your shout-outs to whoever you want to do, and think about a request, man. This is fucking Kimchi TV after black. Bang! We got Empress on the line, and I she got a shout out. Anything, huh? What's that? I can request any song. Of course, it don't have to be just industry, local. It can be whatever the fuck you want. YouTube can suck a dick. So, what do you want to hear? <laughs> I want to hear two cuts. How about that? You know what? Because I know you like that, and because you got a beat that you already need to be rapping on. You know what? Ooh, 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 ooh. where's that song at? All right, let's 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 hear. Bang! What, what do you want to hear first, though? What do you want to hear? Play for what it's worth. Oh, good call, ma'am. Good call, ma'am. Yeah. And then after I play for what it's worth, what else? You know, if you so would like to oblige me with. I will oblige. I will oblige. oblige. Cool. What was that? If you want to play, shut it down. That would be cool too. Oh wow! Oh, you want me to do that? You know, it's on Radio Super, right? No. Did he? Did, 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 I, you know what? I don't know, but it, you know what? Who gives a fuck? Because they can't take our shit from us anyway right now, JL. So we'll play that. We'll play that. Because they need to know. No, I, as far as I know, no. But hey, who gives a fuck, man? We'll be the first ones to break it. Why not on Kimchi TV with the producer, AT? Where, uh... Okay, so shout give me some give me some shout outs. Give me some shout outs real quick. Kimchi and all your 33 personalities. Banksy. Shout out to Mr. Classic MC. Bang. Shout out to uh yeah, you. Bang. Right. No, I am just uh, agreeing with you. I'm just dot com and banging. My bangs are periods. Keep going. <laughs> I just want to let everyone know if they're not uh, already hip to it. The 31st at Last Exit Live is Mystic Blues album release. Yes. A lot of dope people there. Femme Fatale is going to do another show. If you missed it at the Tempe Tavern, we're going to represent for you guys again. Good shit. Well, Empress, we appreciate you stopping through and sharing your perspective, man. You're, I'm uh, sorry to call you that, but that's my, my me lady, me lady. I gotta, I gotta get my shit together because it's politically correct right here. Me lady, I appreciate you shedding your insight and you dope as fuck. You already know that. So I'm gonna go ahead and while I'm stumbling, bumbling, finding this track, clicking on the wrong insert, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna play this for worse, for what it's worth by Classic the MC and, oh, uh, fucking me. Hello. And my baby, my baby is in the back. Hey, hey, uh, Empress, uh, my baby Laura's new nickname is Lack. So when you see her, just say Lack. Laura Ann Cook, that's my baby Lack. Because I love her like blacks love Cadillacs. Bet. And we're going to play this for what it's worth. Thank you, Empress. I'm going to talk to you after the break, okay? All 
Alright. All right. Good shit. Yo, yo, yo. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I'll call you a little bit, okay? Alright. Thank you. Hey, baby. Tastes <laughs> like dub. Alright, right, right. right. Oh, you know, I said it's a job. It's your show, nigga. Fix it. And then you look at me. You're like, nah, I ain't. I'm like, yeah. It's just how I ain't. Tribulations of embosses, no flaws and no jewelers, crib with computers, no rulers, never injured. No, no. Keep thinking like a bitch and start pimping. My brain is partitioning and half my dope's missing. Classic on the track, yeah. Take a listen, he speak for himself. Beats miming, put the time in, for Douglas start back rhyming. We on in five, need a four minutes. Oh, no, shit. Hey, I finally got you, bitch. I found you. Words. I put my life in these lines. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean now. That's so funny. Well, it eats my mind. For what it's worth, whether that be better or worse, I put my life in these lines. He's rhyming my verse. The truth hurts sometimes. Well, it eats my mind. Uh, for what it's worth, since birth, little and underrated. Maybe not the school of hard knocks, but I still graduated. Come on, he got me faded. Pumping on this Reggie like it's so crazy. Just to keep it G, I'm going all day. Niggas fall trying to make it to spring. I can't imagine what the money might bring. Cause even with the grass cut, them snakes be lurking. Your friends is your friends, but who's for certain? I still love you anyway. Be there for you any day. We can roll up, shit. Take a shot of Hennessy. It's all love this year and from now. I'ma give you what you need. Here's a fly form to you, yours truly. Ladies, fill on your movies if you love hip hop. And homies, light a hell if the grind don't stop. Down the five to the block. For what it's worth, I hope to see you at the top. For what it's worth, whether that be better or worse, I put my life in these lines. He's rhyming my verse. The truth hurts sometimes. What it do? Well, it eats my mind. Are you cold, motherfucker? For what it's worth, whether that be better or worse, I put my life in these lines. I love my life. I love my life almost as much as I love my wife. How about that? She's the shit. You don't even fucking have no idea. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a Lord. Uh, I love my wife episode coming soon. How about that shit? I ain't gonna do it while she's here. I'll be crying. She'll be crying and be like, oh, "Sappy, bottle that shit up." You goddamn right, dub. This is what it sounds like when Dub cries. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I just shut shit off. You know why? Because I gotta find this fucking leak that Empress wanna give y'all. She fucking. She don't give a fuck. And I'm glad because this shit is hot. And Radio Super played it. News to me, nigga. Just like a B Dog intro. News to me, nigga. <laughs> Come on, son. Uh, she said she want to play, you know, my style. Hey, Empress over ATM, the professional beat. WorldWildWilding.com. ATM. We're going to come back with my outro, but y'all going to know what the fuck it is right now. Boo, 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 bang. Oh, volume. Hello. The professional. The quarter pass, I'll call the play, you're out like halftime Mine, I don't waste, I break your back before the first line I told you all the last time, playing is for the past time So pass it off, cause y'all ain't contending to hit the finish line Closed mouths don't get bread, closed minds don't get fed Your lack of thinking, match a witch, a whack poetry sinking Now let it sink and turn your dial back, watch me get it again I'll lace my cleats on, cause I'm playing Oh, dub, you fucking dummy That's my bad, I got a lot going on But you wanna hear it again, who gives a fuck? It's my show, <laughs> I got 
You caught a pass, I call the play, you're up like halftime. Man, I don't waste our regular before the first line. I told you all the last time. Same just for the past time, so pass it off, cause y'all ain't contending to hit the finish line. Closed mouths don't get bread, closed minds don't get fed. Your lack of thinking match with your whack poetry sinking. Now let it sink and turn your dial back, watch me get it again. I lace my cleats on, cause I'm playing to win. Now watch me hit a home run while you button to get the first base. My team wondering why you showed up in the first place. It bumps me out to see one second, guess when thorough brothers represent and tell y'all I'm spitting while you ain't touching hell. Yeah. You know I'm trying to, but why y'all caught up in your sight? But you should be more concerned with what the jail do. And when you hear me, you gon' know what's up. I got you feeling like I'm gon' blow up. Fuck you, you know my style. We gon' rock it till the sun come up. Now let me show you how we shut it down. We shut it down. And when you hear me, you gon' know what's up. I got you feeling like I'm gon' blow up. Yeah, you know my style. We gon' rock it till the sun come up. Now let me show you how we shut it down. We shut it down. Check one, check two. Now I'ma check you. My chest moves, make your chest plate groove. The my words do, come on, he prepped the beat like he's on block, so I'ma set it off like we gon' fly, go and get it now, the doubt is for the weak, the truth's for you to see, so when they tell you that I'm making you doing wisely to believe, I don't deceive, for you to cease, for you to get, I keep mine on the deck, I represent, and it's regardless of your set, let me, I bless you, that's what I'm here to do, show and prove it, let y'all delegate between the two, whether it's me or you, cool is how I'm stepping in, calm is why I'm relevant, collectively I sow the seed off for the reckoning, now who's that, told you you're cool black, you cool cat, I'ma hold you to with the proof. I school rap, I'm tapping in while y'all tapped out Slipping you black out, you open like you're busting your back out yeah, When you hear me, you gon' know what's up I got you feeling like I'm gon' blow up, you know my style We gon' rock it till the sun come up Now let me show you how we shut it down, we shut it down When you hear me, you gon' know what's up I got you feeling like I'm gon' blow up, yeah, you know my style We gon' rock it till the sun come up Now let me show you how we shut it down, we shut it down, down. ATM on the beat that's me. Kamani Kim is my nickname now. Imagine that shit. <sighs> my mama, my mama say I named me Dublin. And then I just go from there. Pretty much. She calls me Fred. Everybody, anybody who really, really, really gives a fuck about me, besides my baby, because she haven't known me since birth, <laughs> calls me Fred. I love you, mama. Mm. So much. I'm not about to start crying because I love you that much. And fucking Kev, Kendall, Brad, Ben, y'all call me Fred. So we're going to go ahead and bust out this motherfucking shit. Get this outro out the way. Because I got shit to do, nigga. I got a wife to entertain who loves my company. And I love hers too. We out cleaning the booth. Yeah, get us I love that to get to shut this door. I made it. Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face, saying what it don't do. Who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face, saying what it don't be. Who the who the who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. Talking about ATM, are you talking about AT? Actually, I'm the same person that you gon' see. I'm everywhere in the streets, I've been like this since I was three. Cold as motherfucking hell, like a freezer in the oven. And what the fuck that mean? Who knows what? I'm still stuck in the I just wanna keep spitting up.